one final thing uh, that I like to do at the start of a project before I start fucking around with stuff is I will add a marker track that is just for um, exporting. I usually put this somewhere at the top. That's also not a bad idea to, to lock your tempo just so you don't fuck anything up later. Um, so for the export, I like to just make one long range marker. And I'm going to line it up with my arrangement markers. And I want to get the whole thing, including the burner bar. And this burner bar is important to keep in every render that I do up until the very, very last one. As I'm working on a project, I want to keep that burner bar in there. And that's the, the purpose that that serves is um, anybody who is listening to a render from this project, like if they're, you know, part of the band or whatever, and they've got important feedback, if they give me a, like a time where, you know, if they got a certain time stamp for a note and then they're telling me, you know, at 21 seconds, check this out or whatever. Um, if I render this, say here from the second bar, um, their 20 seconds is going to be different from mine. Like if we bring in a, uh, we got another marker, or no, ruler track, sorry. Uh, set this ruler to seconds, and then this will give us a timeline. So if somebody says 21 seconds, we want our 21 seconds on this to line up with someone else's uh, 21 seconds or whatever they tell us. And that's why we keep this burner bar in our renders at all times. And by using this export feature, we can just always come back to this and uh, we're always rendering the same chunk of time every single time. We don't have to worry about, you know, dragging out our uh, marquee thing here or if like we accidentally miss like I just did there. Having this export thing just makes it easy. Uh, one more quick little handy thing in Cubase is that you can split your uh, arranger window in two. So you see this little tiny button, it's almost like a hidden thing. Divide track list. And then that gives you this thing where you can have uh, some some stuff that just lives up here. So sometimes I like to put just like navigation things here. Uh, and then that'll just stay up there at all times. So like if you had a bunch of audio tracks, That'll just keep whatever you want to keep up here, up here. I put the intro at the end to make it easier to skip. You're welcome. Subscribe if you'd like more stuff like this. This video series is brought to you by my friends on Patreon. If you want to learn more stuff about Cubase, but you're tired of trying to piece together information from random videos with no context to connect them, you may want to check out this playlist that walks you through an entire project from start to finish. This one. This one here. That's right, you gotta click on it though.